What's up, guys, and welcome back to another episode of My Summer Car. If you guys are enjoying this series so far, make sure you leave a like on the video. It'd be greatly appreciated. In the last episode, we went to the store, and then we came home. I know, life without mods is a little bit less eventful, to say the least. But we're going to be going on quite the little scavenger hunt here today. First thing we need to do is just get all these groceries put away. All the stuff that belongs in the garage, I think we're good to just leave in the house for right now. But all the things that will spoil, mainly these 4-5 sausages, those all have to get put in the refrigerator. All right, now that we've got all the glizzies put away, looks like our fatigue is about maxed out. So we've actually got to head to bed. I'm going to make sure that we don't have any extra lights on and stuff. We don't want to be draining a bunch of energy right now. Not this early in the game. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, kitchen's the only one we ever really keep on, if I remember correctly. But now we can head to bed. Oh, and then in the morning, dude. Did we get smokes? I'm pretty sure we got smokes in the previous episode. Awesome. Okay, we'll burn this thing down, and then our smoke will just go forever and ever and ever, and then we can actually get going on this scavenger hunt, dude. I'm excited. I'm really stoked. We're basically going to be collecting all the things that we weren't able to get from Quavos. We may actually have to go back out to Quavos again. I'm not really sure. Yeah, and then the smoke is just going to continue to come straight out of our face. Let's also just get a drink while we're in here. While we're thinking about it. Alright, cool. Let's head on out of here. We could just walk to the barn. So, hear me out. Hear me out. We could also just take the Joe Bro. We could totally take the Joe Bro to Fleetaris. The only problem is we're going to be buying so many things that they're going to be like single items like this. You know, loose type items. We don't exactly have a way to efficiently carry back all those items on the Joe Bro. So, basically what we're going to be doing nice is just taking let's just put the kickstand up uh, we're going to take the joe bro over to the barn hop in the keck met otherwise known as the tractor and then we're going to be taking that to fleet Taris because we should be able to fit a little bit more stuff like in the cab of the tractor i would think and then we don't need any pistons that's the other thing we would have to buy from fleet Tari. it's so funny like from my perspective, trying to think back to the initial series with all the mods, the mods helped out a ton. And like, now now the struggle is real. The struggle is very much real. But I'm going to try to keep a level head throughout this whole series, and we'll see what ends up happening, I suppose. I know some people do actually take the Joe Bro on the Kekmet. They sort of like somehow hook it into the forks. I'm not going to do that, but... I'm going to see if I can remember how to turn this thing on. Doesn't it have like a hand throttle or something? This guy right here. We've got to pull that back towards us. Find a comfy seat. There we go. We should just be able to turn it over. Now for the range, we've got to make sure that that's on high. This is going to be the slowest possible... Oh yeah, I forgot the parking brake. Go figure. Typical me. This is going to be the slowest possible vehicle that we can take to Fleetaris. But like I said... It's also going to be the best one because we can put stuff in the cab, or so I hope. Now, on our little journey here, we're also going to try to keep our eyes peeled for any tow jobs. I realize that might sound weird to those of you that maybe have your head stuck in the gutter, um, but to everyone else, yes, that is just vehicles, like scrap vehicles that are on the side of the road that we can then tow to Fleetaris. I'm not going to pick any up today, but I just want to, you know, keep our eyes peeled for if we see any. Hopefully, we'll be able to remember the location but let's get going on this long long drive There we go. There we go. On our right, got our first tow job out in the forest. Yeah, that really does, you know, now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I shouldn't call them tow jobs. We'll, we'll go with it anyways. It's, it's probably fine, right? We're going to hang a left here, 
and we are almost to Fleetaris. Here we are, ladies and gents. The first stop on our little scavenger hunt. Let's just pull this right on in the front. He shouldn't care whatsoever. Usually he only cares if, whoop, didn't mean to put it in reverse, Terry. Uh, usually he only cares if we have the Satsuma parked in front. But he shouldn't give us any trouble over the Kekmet. Here we are, dude. Oh, I've missed this place. Good old Fleetari. All right, let's head on inside, and uh, we'll see the see the dude, bro. What is up, there my dude, my bro, my bra? Long time no see. Hello. What is on your mind, young man? Well, Fleetari, I wish, I wish we could buy this icy brand spanking new block, but unfortunately, we just don't have the funds for that. So what we came here for is an alternator a starter and a head gasket because all of our pistons were all fine so shouldn't have any issues there but again dude i wish we could buy this crispy boy that looks much much nicer than what we have right now so what's the damage not terrible honestly i was expecting a little bit more but that's cool with me Now, of course, those weren't the only things that we came to flee Taris for. Over on the left side over here, wait, 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 wait. I hear him. There he is. I believe that's our cousin, right? I don't exactly remember, but that sounds accurate anyways. Just speeding through town as per usual. Right over here, though, we have the GT steering wheel and the GT valve cover. Those are gonna come in handy, 100%. We're just gonna yeet that on over there, should be fine. And then this little guy, he's a little tricky to uh, to actually get. There we go. Sometimes you've gotta lean in a little bit and then get out of the maze of random scrap things that Fleetari has on the side of his shop. So that is gonna go right on in there with all the other parts and same with this. There we be. All right, now. On the other side of Fleetari's shop, there's even more goodies. We've got the Radar Buster 3000. Actually, does it? It does actually say 3000 on it. Okay, I kind of just pulled that out of my butt, but that's cool. And then on, I want to say it's on like the back side. Are they? Yeah, right there. Okay, on the back side of this little yellow or... Is this yellow? Gold color car it's a it's a color it's not real important anyways we've got long coil springs right oh i'm moving the forks and stuff that's my bad yeah long coil springs i was thinking they were lowering coil springs for some reason sorry fleet sorry we'll uh keep your keep your door shut for you all right so i believe that's all the loot that we can get from fleetari's shop so let's hop back in the kekmet we've got one more stop on our scavenger hunt journey. This one is gonna be interesting because I can't say I've ever been able to accomplish said task during the daytime. Oh, I, parking brake again, of course. The Haunted Mansion. Again, never done this during the, the day, the daylight hours. So I'm not even 100% sure that this is gonna be successful. We may have to restart everything up to this point. Let's try to maybe lower the forks a little bit. We've gotta smash out this door. I don't have anything. Oh, why do I have the starter in my hand, dude? I'm gonna lose that thing if I'm not careful. Okay, so you need to go down just a little bit more. I think that should be fine. Whoops. <laughs> Here I am just chilling in neutral, trying to go forward. And we're also in, in high gear still, so that's not really helping. All right, surely, surely this is going to take him out. There we go. Unreal, dude. That, that actually took a minute. 
Okay, so we're gonna pull the Kekmet just over here. And uh, we'll just leave it. Get the parking brake up. Go ahead and idle her down. And we are golden. Good to dip. Alrighty, we'll just leave that little guy there. And then we can start making our way in. So, yes, again, never accomplished this during the day. Um, but I've been told that it's possible if you just sort of stay up along the backside of the wall. Which I don't actually know what they mean by backside or which wall they're talking about. But I'm assuming it's this one. So let's just stay crouched. Stay small. Stay quiet. And we're just going to go right along the wall here. I definitely hear them. Which is very, very concerning. Okay, that was that was just the fly that usually flies around us because we're a dirty, dirty boy. Here we go. Okay, stay along this wall now. And then if we kind of just creep up and 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 crouch forward or or do a forward motion. Basically, we're reaching right now. We're just reaching for these tires. I don't want to get super close to them. There we go. All right, that's going out the window. Next one, out the window. Third one, out the window. And the fourth, out the window. And lastly, we're going out the window also. There we be. There we be, ladies and gents. We've done it. And we didn't get stung and then, you know, die from those bees or wasps or whatever's in there. That was honestly really easy. I wish I wouldn't have tried to do that at nighttime ever. Now knowing that it's totally possible during day. Could have saved a lot of time. So we're going to get these all loaded up. And then... Is there another stop? I don't really have a plan for the scavenger hunt. I'm just trying to like go around to all the places that I know there's loot. There is one more that's kind of close by. But we don't actually need to go to Quavo's. And if we go there, we might run the risk of... Uh, dying of hunger and or thirst. So, let's work on our thirst while we're here. Because I do see a little tap. We've got the little water tap, of course. So, we'll get our thirst taken care of. And then we'll hit one more spot before heading back home. I think if we're going to go out to Quavos again, we should probably just take the boat. And, and maybe dedicate like a separate trip. But I did forget to pick up... What did I forget? Motor oil and something else. Oh, we need a new two-stroke fuel because we kind of lost that on the boat trip back over. But let's idle her back up, turn her back over, and we will be on our way. Just down the, oh, the parking brake, dude. Every time, I'm serious, every time, I forget that. But it should just be down the road to the right, if I remember correctly. I wanna say it's this way, and it shouldn't be, shouldn't be too much longer, I don't think. on the left here. I believe that's the place that we get the wristwatch from. Eventually, we gotta like fight and or kill a dude for his wristwatch. So looking forward to doing that again someday. It's not this one, is it? I think it might be. Oh, yeah, it totally is. I remember there being a drive on the left, which we just passed. Okay, there's a big dip there in the terrain. We'll just go around this way. Um, but I remember there being a drive. And then it should have just been like a rickety old looking place like this. We'll see if it actually has something inside. We should just be able to leave the thing on. Get the parking brake up. Alrighty, let's see if this is the one. It is! Nice, dude! So these are, I think, the GT wheels? Which we're going to have to leave at uh, Fleetari's eventually. Probably not today. Um, if we want to get them treaded. You know, if we want to get some some tires put around these things. So. so. You're kidding. You're kidding. Please don't kill me. 
Okay, how did my legs... Honestly, how did, how did they just not snap in half? I will never know. I will never know. I really don't like it when that happens, though. It's very scary because you, you never know. I mean, it could. It could kill you going up that high. All right, we are loaded up, dude. This thing is super full. And now we get to drive all the way. Oh, dude, the parking brake. You're kidding. Okay, now we get to drive all the way back home once again. When, when we do get home, we may have enough time to go in the boat to Quavo's. Maybe. But we might also have to save that for another day. There's just... Without mods, again, going back to without mods, there's just so many hours in the day where, like, when we were playing the modded series, I could just no-clip anywhere I wanted to, fly there, and, and, again, make a whole, like, big production out of the game. Now it's just more raw. This is season two, my summer car, raw. Uh-oh, heads up, heads up, heads up. Dude, he came at the worst possible spot. We had like big banks, big berms on either side of the road. There was like hardly anywhere for me to go. Thankfully, we're almost home. Just a little, just a little while longer. We've made it, dudes and dudettes. We have finally made it. What a long drive. Like, seriously, that is a uh, that is a long trip. Let's go ahead and throttle down. We can open up this door, parking brake once again, and hop on out. It's a good thing we actually just arrived too, because our hunger is peaking right now. Let's head on inside, and instead of grabbing our full five sausages, let's have this pizza instead. Oh, that didn't even, that didn't even really help all the way. Ah, that's fine. It's better than nothing, right? It's better than starving. We'll also take care of our thirst really quick. Alrighty, so, judging by the position of the sun in the skybox, I don't think we're gonna have near enough time to hop in the boat Take it all the way over to Quavos, grab the stuff we need, and come back. So I think in the next episode, we'll have to just make another day trip out of that. And hopefully, we'll be able to do some other stuff as well. But tell you the truth, you guys, that was a very, very successful scavenger hunt. So I think that's where we're going to wind things down at for today. But once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, to help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching guys. Peace.